Hey, it's Fern, and in this video, I'm going to talk about when is the best time to stop crating your puppy. Okay, today's question is from Dara, and she writes, I stopped crating my five-month-old puppy. He never seemed to like the crate and is more content being out of it. Is this wrong, or do all dogs need to be crated? We make sure we puppy-proof the kitchen when we leave him. Okay, great question. Should you use a crate, and when is it time to, to not use the crate? The reason the crate is great is because it gives, the for house training purposes, it's the best way to, to house train. But outside of that, it also doesn't give your dog a lot of opportunity to make mistakes. Because, don't forget, we have a dog living in a human world. And... Unless we teach them otherwise, they're going to act like dogs, which probably includes investigating the world with their mouth, especially if they're a puppy. So what we want to do is kind of teach them how to be dogs but live in the human world, and that comes with supervision and teaching them what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. But when we can't supervise, we need to confine them so that they don't make bad decisions because they're not ready yet. So when is it time to give your dog more freedoms? Well, there's no easy answer for that. I can't say, okay, at six months, you should let him out for this long, at eight months. No. What you do is we just try it. You take a leap of faith. But we, what we do is we want to set them up to succeed. If I take them for a two-minute walk and then leave them for eight hours with nothing to do and all that energy, I'm setting them up to fail. Of course, they're going to eat the furniture and destroy the house. I've really... I've really set them up to do that. So what I want to do is when we're ready to try them without the crate, what we do is we get them really tired first, then we give them something constructive to concentrate on while I'm gone, like a frozen Kong or an interactive toy where I can use some food in there to keep them motivated. And then I go away for just a little bit, maybe an hour or so. So they're exhausted. I give them something to do for a little bit, maybe a half hour. Then I'm, all, I'm home a half hour later. So I'm really setting them up to have a good encounter and just chill. And what happens is I do repetitions of, I leave, you just hang out. I leave, you just hang out. So the more repetitions you do like that, the more we create a habit. And the dog doesn't get into trouble because it just never did that. It always just chills and concentrates on other things. So to answer your question, no, you don't need the crate if your dog doesn't need it. But if your dog is getting into trouble, he's saying, I'm not ready for that freedom yet. And for a five-month-old puppy, it's really tricky. I'm not so sure that um, it's the right time, but you just try it. And if it works, great. You know, if you say he doesn't like his crate, I'm just going to make him love his crate. Because if I give him all this food, these frozen Kongs and, and interactive toys with food in his crate, he's going to love me. To be, he's going to beg me to lock him up in there because that's the only place he gets that good stuff. So the crate should be made into a good place. But you don't need it. You don't have to use it if you don't need it. And all you do is just try it. So set them up to succeed, experiment, and then see what happens. If it works, awesome. Keep going. If it doesn't, it tells me maybe he wasn't quite ready or maybe we didn't do things the right way. All right, I hope that helps. If you want more information, tips and tricks like this, sign up for my, mail, my blah, sign up for my mailing list. There we go. You can find the link somewhere on this page, and I'll send you my newsletter as well as my free guide, The 10 Quick and Simple Ways for a Better and Happier Dog. That's it for now. I'll see you real soon. Thank you